Hi, Dan Hopper here with Remax Alliance, the Stop Foreclosure Institute of Westminster, Colorado. Here on my weekly blog to talk a little bit about one of our blog postings. Today I, I want to kind of talk a little bit about these secret or these unknown liens that show up while you're in the short sale process. You know, the type of liens, it could be a water sewer lien, it could be uh, a collection lien, it could be a judgment lien and hopefully it is not a tax lien but a lot of times these liens will not be covered by the the bank in other words they will not allow the seller to pay these liens at the short sale closing and so the reality is this how do i transfer title to the new buyer with a lien i can't so what does that mean we have to find a way to satisfy these liens and normally, like I said, if it happens to be a water sewer by the city, county, whoever, that type of a lien uh, or a tax lien, those will have to be satisfied by, the bank will have to allow the seller to satisfy those at closing. So that will come out of the net to the bank. Those are things that just cannot be avoided. The, uh, the other type of liens, like maybe a uh, uh, a bill collector lien or any other kind of a loan installment lien that has been filed or a judgment lien that's gone to the courts uh, chances are those are going to have to be satisfied some way most of those liens can normally be negotiated away at least a percentage of them we have found uh, in the past that we've been able to at least negotiate anywhere from 50 percent to 80 percent off of what that lien amount is uh, so if it's a $3,000 lien, we've been able to maybe get it down to $1,500 or even down to $500 to, to satisfy that lien for the purpose of getting a release of that lien so that we could transfer the, 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 the property to a new buyer. So it takes a little bit of involvement. And a lot of times, again, the seller is never allowed to pay for that out of the proceeds because, again, that takes away from the net to the bank. So sometimes you have to just get a little innovative uh, and do the best in negotiating those liens away so that you can transfer the title and not delay the short sale process any further than, than they can already be delayed. Uh, many times we've even had the buyer pay for some of these liens. They're getting a property at 25, 30, 40 percent off the market condition, market values, and you know, it's a good deal. So it doesn't hurt for them to pay a couple thousand more knowing that they're getting a good deal. So to them, sometimes it's worth it, particularly these cash investors. They understand that process. Uh, if they want the property bad enough, they'll, they'll work with you to uh, basically inherit that lien value and get it paid off. But like I said, it's, it's a process, but you got to make sure you get the right short sale broker working this. These are things that should be discovered up front. A lot of things can come and bite us during the process, but understand that there are ways of getting around it. Anyway, uh, please visit my blogs, www.denverstopforeclosureblog.com, uh, or check my website out, danhopper.com, and look forward to talking about my blog next week. Have a great week.